Hi friends, we're going to talk about a group of people that help our community. They're called community helpers. Here's an example of a community helper. Now community helpers are people who go out and do things and they're going to help our community. So I'm a teacher and I'm considered a community helper. And our postal worker is considered a community helper. And a farmer is considered a community helper. So it's the kinds of people who do something for our community. Police officers and firefighters, sanitation workers who pick up our trash, they're all community helpers. All right, my friends, we're gonna write the words community, I'm sorry, postal worker. <laughs> we're gonna write postal worker. Okay, pa, pa, pa. what do you hear? A P. So we're gonna start with a P. P. O. O. Post. S. Post. Post. A T. Post all. That's an A L. So it's going to take two spaces. A L. A L. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to write the word worker. It's two words. One word, popsicle stick space, and a second word, worker. Wah, wah. What do you hear? You did? Good. Oh, W. W. Were this er sound is actually an or or it's gonna take up two spaces o r work work that could be two things friends this time it's going to be a k er this er is an e r. We're going to take up two spaces with E, R, E, and an R. Did you notice I already have some color on my postal worker? Yeah, I do. But first, let's look at some pictures of postal workers. She is a postal worker. He is a postal worker. She is a postal worker. So sometimes friends, they're going to work inside the post office. Here's inside the post office and this one's inside the post office. And then also we see postal workers when they drive around in their, in their, in their trucks, right? And they're delivering the mail. And do you know if we were, it, they deliver it to to businesses and to homes. And if if I was at school, they would be delivering it to school, but right now they're taking it and they're delivering mine to my house. But all of my friends that are at school, there's postal workers that come to your school right now. All right, so let's put up a picture of a postal worker. Are you noticing some special things about the postal worker is clothes? Does that look like what your teacher wears to go to work? No. Have you ever seen your postal worker drive by? Yeah, I have. I've seen my postal worker drive by. And the great thing, actually, let me put that over here. And you can tell a postal worker is a postal worker because they wear something called a uniform. So when they're wearing their uniform, maybe they're going to look like this. Or maybe here's a postal worker that works in the snow and his uniform is a little bit different. And this postal worker, she's got part of a uniform on as well. It looks like they really like the blue color, right? And the other thing I really want you to pay attention to because you're gonna see it on the postal worker's clothes. This symbol right here, it doesn't have any words, but every time you see it, you're gonna know that that's for a 
there's going to be a postal truck or maybe it's on their uniform. All right, friends. So they're going to wear a uniform and we're going to write uniform. Did you notice my postal worker is wearing special clothes? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to write uniform. Here we go, right there. U N I F O R M. So all of our postal workers are going to wear a uniform. The other thing that you're going to notice about a postal worker is when you see them out in the neighborhood, you might notice that they have some keys to mailboxes, right? They're going to have keys. Let's put, actually, let's go down here. Okay, so they're going to be carrying keys so that they can open up the back of the mailboxes in when there's a lot of mailboxes and put in the mail so that people can get their mail. Okay. Y S. So they don't have they have keys to mailboxes. Not all mailboxes have need a key. And sometimes they can walk inside and get and give it to the business. But they're going to have it. And then our mail carriers are going to they're either mail worker postal workers are going to have either a bag. She's carrying a bag. He's carrying a bag. This postal worker is not carrying a bag. This postal worker has his, his the, the envelopes divided up in his truck and he is just going to deliver it that way. Hmm, I thought I had my picture. I have a very special picture because they have one more way that they are going to deliver they have a cart sometimes that they might roll around, but this is another postal worker who is walking around the neighborhood with a bag. So a, you might see them with a bag or a truck. Here we go. So they are, oh, here's one on wheels. I did have one more. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, so this one, he's going to go all over the neighborhood and he might not be able to go or his truck would fit, so he has he has wheels with his bag. And this one doesn't have a bag. This one has a bag. But they might be they might have a mail bag. So we're going to whoops. I meant to put this one up here. There we go. And I meant to put this one right here. So we're going to write mail bag. Here we go. M A I L B A G. Okay. So a postal worker wears a uniform. Ooh, I'll bet you could say that whole sentence too. A postal worker wears a uniform. A postal worker carries keys for post for the mailboxes. Your turn, friends. Let's try that one. Here we go. A postal worker carries keys. A postal worker uses a mail bag. Your turn, friends. A postal worker uses a mail bag. All right, my friends. Thanks for playing with me today.